Peace to the tribe. What's up, everybody? It's Antoine.Digital. And today we have a fascinating, important, and super interesting topic to discuss. I want to talk about this very new skill that is on the forefront of the ever-evolving world of artificial intelligence. We're going to talk about the rise of prompt engineering jobs. But first, what exactly is a prompt engineer? In today's world, AI is becoming more and more of an important discussion. From healthcare, to banking, to insurance, to IRS taxes, to social media impersonation, to climate change, to agriculture, to education, and even to careers. AI is everywhere. Companies are on a hunt for people who are learning AI skills. Specifically, companies are looking for individuals who can train AI to respond accurately and relevantly to human queries. These individuals are known as prop engineers. And the exciting part is, you don't need an advanced degree in computer engineering or extensive coding skills to break into this field. And guess what? The role of a prop engineer has been around for less than three years. That means right now is the perfect time to break into this field. Here, let's shed a little bit more light on this career path and how fast it can change people's lives. I read this article about this young woman named Anna Bernstein, 29 years old. She got a job at this tech company as a prop engineer. 29 years old, listen to her story. She said she got this job without a background in tech. She actually had a background in humanities. She said her job involved crafting text-based prompts that she feeds into AI tools, which then enabled the AI to automatically generate blog posts and also sales emails. She was able to prompt the AI to have a certain tone and also provide relevant and accurate information to these humans who are asking the AI for information. So just so we're clear, Anna, 29 years old, was being paid to pretty much train this AI model. Her job is to test it out and say, hey, please write me a blog. And then when the AI automatically writes the blog, she just pretty much says, hey, no, don't do that. Hey, try not to use these long sentences. Hey, instead, don't pull information from this resource, pull information from this resource, it's more accurate. And the dopest part about all of this, even without a college degree in computer science or engineering, she's still able to get a job that's paying six figures just to train an AI model. Now, I know if you've never heard of prompt engineering before or you never really messed around with AI a lot, you might be like, well, how do I know if I can do this or not? I'm teaching a free class every Monday night called AI School. And in AI School, I'm teaching you how to use these AI tools. So I invite you to join for free. Yes, free. Come to AI School. There's hundreds of us learning live every single Monday on how to break into this AI field. A little bit more about me if you don't know who I am. My name is Antoine.Digital. I've been coding for the last 12 years. Code is everywhere. It's in our smartphone apps. It's in our TV apps. It's in our favorite video games. It's in our favorite movie graphics, CGI. Code is literally shaping our world. If you want to learn more about my story, just Google me, Antoine Patton, and you'll learn more about my journey and how I got into tech. This is the cool thing. I learned how to code, and now I'm ready to break into this new field of prompt engineering. I've worked with a lot of different companies coding their projects, but now this new AI prop engineer role has caught my interest. Because like Anna said, she's getting paid all of this money to work at this big tech company and she doesn't have to write any code. Now, from my research and what I've been seeing, if you do know how to code, that's a huge bonus. That could probably take your salary from somewhere like 90,000, 120,000 to somewhere like 200,000 or 300,000 per year. Netflix recently had a role for $900,000 a year. Things are getting really interesting with these AI jobs. Anna's journey is a testament to the diversity of backgrounds in the tech field, specifically in the AI field. She studied English in college and was a copywriter and historical researcher before venturing into prompt engineering. This highlights how AI aims to imitate human thought, making humanities a valuable asset, which means my liberal arts degree is now a very, very valuable asset. And people are like, what are you going to do with that? Now I see exactly what I'm going to do with that. But why has there been a sudden surge in the demand for prompt engineers? Well, it's actually part of a broader increase in the demand for AI professionals. According to data from LinkedIn, searching for terms like AI or generative or GPT has rose over 51% between 2021 and 2022. 
Some of the most exciting opportunities come with some huge salary. For instance, this one company called Anthropic is offering $200,000 to $400,000 per year for prompt engineers. So let's get into this role of a prompt engineer at Anthropic. And who is Anthropic? It says that it's an AI safety and research company that's working to build reliable, interpretable, and steerable AI systems. We want AI to be safe and beneficial for our customers and for society as a whole. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about the responsibilities. So it says you should be able to discover, test, and document best practices for a wide range of tasks relevant to our customers. Pretty vague, let's keep going. You should be able to build up a library of high quality prompts or prompt chains to accomplish a variety of tasks with an easy guide to help users search for the ones that meet their needs. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. You need to be able to build a library of high quality prompts, be able to build this library of things that you predict that their customers will be prompting this AI for. Okay, now I'm sure they'll have a variety of customers. Somebody who wants to use this AI for chatbots, somebody who wants to use this AI for customer service requests, so far and so on, okay? So we need to figure out what their customers want and then build these high quality prompts for their customers. You also need to be able to build a set of tutorials and interactive tools that teach the art of prompt engineering to our customers, okay? So documentation, tutorials, remember, teaching their customers how to use it and also work with large enterprise customers on their prompting strategies. All right, so good communication skills. They also added, you will be a good fit. So remember, these are always things that they desire, that they want, but they're not mandatory. But check it out. Have three to five years of relevant or transferable experience. Okay, remember we talked about with Anna. She had a background in humanities and English. So figure out what kind of transferable experience do you have? It does not have to be in humanities or English. You figure out what you have that can be applied to this field. Have at least a high level familiarity with architecture and operation of large language models. We'll talk a little bit more about this later on, but large language models is pretty much the data behind the AI. You are an excellent communicator and love teaching technical concepts and creating high quality documentation that helps others out. Nothing too deep that you cannot learn or probably already know. Are excited to talk to motivated customers and help them solve their problems. Have a creative hacker spirit and love solving puzzles. Have a firm grasp of programming in Python and experience with data structures and algorithms. Now this one right here might have a lot of people saying like, oh, I don't know. That's where the buck stops. I don't have any experience with coding in Python or anything related to data structures and algorithms. And that's okay, let me show you. If you go down here and scroll, it says, we encourage you to apply even if you do not believe you meet every single qualification. Not all strong candidates will meet every single qualification as listed. Research shows that people who identify as being from underrepresented groups are more prone to experiencing imposter syndrome and doubting the strength of their candidacy. So we urge you not to exclude yourself prematurely and to submit an application if you're interested in this work. OK, they're telling you, you come from a diverse background. We probably need you more than you think. All right. Why? Because they want this AI to be socially relevant. They want it to be very well rounded. They want all of these different people who have different backgrounds and experiences to be able to help create these prompts. Now, listen, let's not skip over this right here. Salary is expected to be in the range of 250 to 375K for this specific role. And of course, it comes with a whole slew of benefits, everything from health plans to 21 weeks of paid parental leave, unlimited PTO, wow, daily lunches, relocation if you want. I did see somewhere else where it says you do not have to live in the Bay Area, but they do expect you to do about 25% of your time in the office, okay? A bunch of benefits. So this is an amazing role. And literally, like it says, don't be afraid to apply. You never know if you'll be a perfect fit at this company. Now, if you're wondering on how do I get started with prompt engineering, what I did was I went and looked up some of the jobs. I looked at the description and I looked at like, what are the roles? What are the responsibilities that they are expecting from us as prompt engineers? So let's go over some of those responsibilities. One big responsibility I see a lot is being able to collaborate across teams, including software engineers and product managers. They work together to design, create, and refine prompts for a wide range of AI-driven apps and websites. So knowing how to work on teams is a valuable skill. 
If you ever worked on the team, check that box because you already qualify. Another key responsibility is being able to develop effective prompt templates. Now these templates are very important because users like me and you who let's say asked ChatGPT for some kind of information, you need to know what is the best way to access AI for information? What is the best way to get the response that I'm looking for? As a prompt engineer, your job is to create templates so that way now you can train even people, users, the human, on how to get the best response from the AI. If you feel like you're good at creating templates, then guess what? You can check that box as well. Another big skill is having a user-centric approach, understanding the target audience, understanding people. Prompt engineers need to conduct research to understand users' needs, preferences, and potential pain points. They translate these insights into actionable prompt improvements, just to make sure that the AI is providing relevant and valuable responses. Another big skill, which isn't even something technical, is just being consistent. As a prompt engineer, you have to study continually what kind of responses is the AI giving? So now you wanna be able to research and refine the responses that it has given to users so that way you can make it better. Now you may be looking at this list of qualifications and responsibilities and saying, whoa, I can do all of that. That's very, very straightforward. That's very simple. I've already been doing a lot of those things. Now there's one extra qualification that you really need that I know a lot of people probably don't have. I'm sure a majority of people watching this video can do all of those things I just mentioned, but you still need experience. Companies who interview you will say, have you worked with any AI applications before? Have you ever done any kind of AI prompting? Have you ever done any kind of fine tuning to an AI model? Me personally, I have, I've been working with AI for the past five years because I do see that it is the future of technology. And I've been really focused on learning as much as I can about it over the last five years. So once again, if you need some help learning how to get into prompt engineering, learning how to use a lot of these AI tools, come to AI School. I'll put the link down in the description. Once again, it's totally free. And I think you're gonna love being a part of this tribe. Again, I do recommend that you do learn a technical skill like coding because it's only going to make you even more in demand. Eventually, a lot of people will know how to do prompt engineering because it doesn't take a huge amount of technical skill. But if you can be somebody who has the technical skills and the soft skills, companies will be willing to pay you a lot more. Companies are going to be on your heels trying to hire you. The rise of prompt engineering jobs is a testimony to the ever-expanding world of AI. It's a field that not only has lucrative opportunities, but also values diverse backgrounds and expertise. So if you're interested in the intersection of language, AI, and human thought, prompt engineering may be your ticket to a promising career in the field of artificial intelligence. My name is Antoine.Digital. If you enjoyed this video, and if you got anything from it, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. And also drop a comment below on any questions you may have and I'll make a video responding to it. Join the movement and let's unlock these opportunities. Peace, unlock.